Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the uh, new playlist which has been created for pharmacological and toxicological screening methods, which will be useful for the students who are studying pharmacology, particularly Master of Pharmacy in Pharmacology students. The first unit uh, deals with the laboratory animals. Uh, this uh, first series will be concentrating on the common laboratory animals and their description. The handling and applications will be in the subsequent series. So there are several species of animals that can be used for experimental purpose. The choice of the species and strain is uh, dependent upon number of uh, factors and the suitability of a particular type of research. The information about the animal actually helps to understand various characteristics they possess and accordingly the suitability of their use. What is a species? It is a group of related organisms having many characteristics in common and ranking below a genus which share same heredity, similar morphology and behaviors, can be interbred and can produce similar offsprings. Is called a species. So rat is a species, mice is a species. Strains. An organism that is marginally different from other organisms of the same species uh, due to specific differences, genetic differences and have distinctive characteristics. Uh, the species are rat, the strains are Sprague, Dolly, Wister, etc. This is an example for strain. Generation interval, the interval between two successive pregnancies is called a generation interval. Experimental animals can be subdivided into rodents, which are mouse, rat, guinea pig, hamster, gerbil, Non rodents are rabbits, monkeys, dogs, cats, and pigs, and others. They are frog, pigeon, zebra fish, chicken, and sheep. Let us see about uh, the laboratory mouse first. This mus musculus. It is the smallest lab animal that is prolific, docile, and easy to maintain and requires small place for housing. There is a large similarity in mice and human genome. So, it could provide a good model for study of mammalian biology and for study of cancer, diabetes, immunological and autoimmune disorders, neurological and endocrine diseases. They are applied widely in acute toxicity studies and testing of drugs for teratogenicity. There is rarely fighting among the female mice groups, but grouped male mice uh, can inflict uh, serious injuries when they are grouped together. They are used to study uh, different disorders such as cancer, AIDS, seizures, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis and transplant rejection. There are also wide range of mutants such as obese mice, nude mice, hairless mice and dwarf mice. Let us see a brief description of uh, this mus musculus. So you can get the data of the mice uh, from this slide. Uh, the strains are Swiss albino mice, Balb C, Laka, and C57 mice. Uh, they can be, they have the age of uh, 1 to 2 years. The blood volume is 70 to 80 ml per kg. The pulse rate is 300 to 750 per minute. The respiration rate is 90 to 150 per minute. Its body temperature is 37.4, whereas the human is 37.5. Uh, the estrus and uh, or estrus cycle, uh, it is for uh, 4 to 5 days. In humans, it is 21 days. The mating age is uh, 6 to 8 weeks. The gestation period is 19 to 21 days. And the litter size, that is, uh, it gives birth to 10 to 12 uh, mice. The body weight is 25 to 30 grams. It consumes uh, 5 to 6 ml uh, water per day. Food consumption is uh, 5 to 7 grams per day. And the urine excretion is 1 to 3 ml per day. And the feed, uh, it is a pellet feed, uh, which is uh, containing a shark liver oil, yeast powder, pellets, sesame oil or fish and some other supplements. The next is a laboratory rat, Ratus norvegicus. It is the most commonly used in biomedical research. The rats do not have tonsils, gallbladder or vomiting centers. Uh, so, they could not be used for studying anti-emetic drugs. 
the tail of the rat uh, helps in thermoregulation the rats are used in behavioral research neuroscience immunogenetics cancer study cardiovascular diseases and testing of psychopharmacological agents they are used to study acute and chronic hypertension it is used for evaluation of anti ulcer drugs by pyloric ligation method study of analgesics by eddy's hot plate or any other analgesic uh, methods acute and chronic toxicity studies teratogenicity and carcinogenicity studies isolated tissues like rat ileum can be used for uh, physiological and pharmacological studies let us see a brief description of uh, ratus norvegicus you can see the strains are sprague dolly wister rat porton uh, then uh, zucker rat and uh, shaking rat and kawasaki rats are available age is around 2 to 3 years the blood volume is uh, 50 to 65 ml per kg and the blood pressure is uh, very similar to humans uh, 130 by 90 uh, mm of uh, mercury the respiration rate is 80 to 150 per minute and the body temperature is very similar to humans 37.5 degree celsius and the uh, humidity is uh, 60 to 70 percent the estrus cycle is very similar to the rats four to five days whereas in humans uh, it is uh, 21 days the mating age is 20 to 12 weeks the gestation period is 21 to 23 days it gives uh, the same litter size 10 to 12 per birth and the body weight is around 180 to 260 grams water consumption is uh, 35 ml per day F food consumption is uh, 15 to 20 grams per day and the urine excretion is uh, 10 to 15 ml per day and the diet is same uh, pellet diet which contains shark liver oil yeast powder pellets sesame oil fish or some other supplements then guinea pig it is cavia porcellus they are herbivorous the strain is uh, duncan hartley they require vitamin c in the diet guinea pigs are sensitive to many infections which make it suitable for the diagnostic test it's ideal model for enteric amoebiasis bronchial asthma copd and screening of local anesthetics it is susceptible for tuberculosis and anaphylactic shock and highly sensitive to histamine and penicillin uh, the cavia porcellus uh, data uh, the age uh, it lives for about two years uh, its uh, body temperature is very similar to humans it is one degree less uh, that is uh, one degree more uh, 37.6 degree celsius and uh, its estrus cycle is 15 to 19 days whereas with rat or mice it is 4 to 5 days and the gestation period is uh, 59 to 72 days the breeding life is 365 days it gives a litter size of 2 to 4 uh, per birth per pregnancy and the body weight is around 400 to 800 grams water consumption is 250 to 350 ml per day and uh, food uh, food consumption is 30 grams per day uh, since it is uh, herbivorous, uh, it can uh, give, be given crushed oats, carrot, cabbage, and wheat bran, etc. The next is uh, hamster, Mesochrysitis auratus. The Syrian hamster is the breed which is most commonly used in laboratory research, although Chinese hamster is also used for biomedical research. Hamsters are small, docile, and who are inactive during the day and active at the night. They have a large cheek pouches which can be used for carcinogenicity studies. Hamsters are used for diabetic research, muscular dystrophy, viral research and immunology studies. The age is around 2 to 3 years. The blood volume is 80 ml per kg. The respiration rate is around approximately 127 per minute. It is The temperature is similar to humans and the estrus cycle is same as rats or mice 4 to 5 days. And the gestation period is 15 to 18 days it gives a litter of 4 to 6 per pregnancy and the body weight is 85 to 150 grams which is very similar to rats food consumption is 10 to 15 grams per day and the urine excretion is 5 to 8 ml per day the feed is soya bean meal carrot corn the species are syrian or golden hamster and chinese hamster the next is a rabbit Arctologus cuniculus. The most common strains are Californian, Florida, uh, white, and New Zealand white. Some rabbits have the enzyme atropinase, which can uh, degrade atropin. 
Although pellets may be the lab uh, rabbit's uh, staple food, some variations should be provided such as hay and green plant material. Bedding materials such as straw or uh, shredded paper provides opportunities for building nests, digging and maintaining their body temperature. The more it is a most suitable model for pyrogen testing of intravenous fluids. Uh, the visibility of peripheral vasculature in albino rabbits is advantageous for my biomedical use. It is used for screening diabetes, diphtheria, tuberculosis, cancer, heart diseases, uh, reproductive studies and to test toxic effects of cosmetics and phytopharmaceuticals. And it is a very good model for production of antibodies and anti-serum. They are used for skin and eye irritancy testing that is DRACE test and phototoxicity assessment. Commonly used strains are New Zealand uh, white strains. The age is 4 to 5 years. Blood volume is 45 to 75 ml per kg. The body temperature is slightly larger than the humans, 38.3 degrees Celsius. The stress cycle is very similar, 4 to 5 days. Uh, and the gestation period is 28 to 31 days. The litter size is 4 to 8 per pregnancy. Water consumption is 200 to 300 ml per day. Food consumption is 100 grams per day. And urine excretion is 200 to 300 ml per day. The feed is uh, actually it is herbivorous, leucine, leucine grass, carrot, Bengal gram, wheat, bran, etc. The next is gerbils, that is uh, Merion's angu, anguiculatus. Gerbils are widely used models for neurological research, endocrinology, genetics, hematology, infectious disease research, radiobiology, and uh, stroke research. Additional areas of research include atherosclerosis and uh, temperature regulation. Gerbils are susceptible to human infections such as giardiasis and that makes them a good model for infectious research. Next is ferrets, Mustella putorius furo. Ferrets share many anatomical, metabolic and physiological features with humans. They are used for neurological, pulmonary and gastrointestinal research. They are susceptible to avian, bovine and human tuberculosis. Galvanized cages, that is zinc cages, can kill these animals. Ray syndrome is induced with human influenza, aspirin, and arginine deficient diet. Next is dog, that is Canis familiaris. They have small alimentary tract and easily get trained. Varieties are mongrel and beagle. They are used for cardiovascular research, antihypertensives. The Dale's vasomotor reversal phenomenon could be demonstrated with the dogs. Uh, it can be used for diabetic research and uh, the drugs acting on the central nervous system. Let us see about the data of uh, the dogs. The age is up to 10 years. The blood volume is uh, 75 to 100 ml per kg. Uh, the body temperature is 36.2 or 37.5 degrees centigrade, which is near to humans. And its stress cycle is 180 days. The Gestation period is 62 days. Breeding life is 6 to 7 years. The litter size is uh, 6 pups per pregnancy. The body weight is uh, 5 to 8 uh, kg. Water consumption is 500 to 700 ml per day. Food consumption around uh, half kg per day. And urine excretion is uh, 600 to 700 ml per day. And the diets, they are non-vegetarian by habit and they can eat uh, meat, egg and other food supplements. Then is a monkey, which is a non-human primate, Macaca muleta. Uh, they are primates used for studying uh, drug metabolism because uh, they show metabolic pattern similar to humans. They are ideal models for pharmacokinetic studies. They are used for study of uh, the drugs acting on the central nervous system, that is memory, anxiety, antidepressants, and cardiovascular drugs such as anti-anginals, anti-hypertensives, and drugs acting on the GIT and fertility studies. They require regular checkup for rabies, tuberculosis, and uh, requires timely immunization. Let us see about the data of uh, Macaca mulata. Uh, the age is 2 to 3 years. The blood volume is 54 ml per kg. And the uh, body temperature is uh, 37 to 39 degrees centigrade, which is very similar or near to humans. Uh, the menstrual cycle is uh, 26 to 28 days. Gestation period is 165 days. And litter size is 1 per pregnancy. Body weight is 5 to 6, K, 6 kilograms. 
the feed they are vegetarian uh, they eat uh, food supplements like fruits the next is pig sus scrofa domestica anatomical and physiological similarities between man and pig makes these animals a good model for pharmacological and toxicological research alimentary tract uh, resembles humans it is an important model for cardiovascular research such as atherosclerosis myocardial infarction etc let us see about the laboratory data of uh, sus scrofa domestica the other species are sus barbertus sus celebensis sus ahoyan o barbus uh, age is 6 to 8 years uh, the body temperature is near to humans ester cycle lasts for uh, the 21 days gestation period is 115 days per pregnancy the litter size is uh, 10 the body weight is 37 to 70 kilograms water consumption 2 to 8 liters per day and food consumption is 1.5 to 3 kg per day in the feed it requires vegetable and uh, non vegetable both next is cat that is felis catus they are carnivorous they have a highly developed nictitating membrane nictitating membrane is used for screening of ganglion blocking drugs they are used for behavioral studies cns studies nerve impulse transmission that is reflexes of respiratory system spinal reflexes and light perception studies could be conducted with felis catus they are also used in neuropharmacological research the next is frog rana hexadactyla and rana tigrina Experiments on frogs are totally banned and they are endangered and protected species. Heart is three chambered, it has two atria and one ventricle. It was used for CVS experiments or bioassay of acetylcholine on rectus abdominis muscle. Unlike in mammals, where noradrenaline is the main neurotransmitter, in frog, adrenaline is the main neurotransmitter in the sympathetic system. Hence, frog heart is more sensitive to adrenaline. Next is zebrafish, Danu rario. Zebrafish are vertebrates and have a backbone like humans, which gives more close relation to humans. It is used for embryological studies. It is getting popularity uh, into the biomedical research due to its clear eggs, which can be developed outside the mother's body and allow watching a zebrafish egg uh, grow into newly formed fish under a microscope in what in approximately two to four days. The advantages of this model that it can be kept fairly at high densities in small tank so it is cheaper to maintain than other experimental animals a single spawning produces 100 to 200 eggs next is chicken that is gallus domesticus the use of chicken as an experimental animal started in the year 1960s they are being tested in many areas of biomedical research such as breeding and genetics growth performance testing, embryology, fertility, hatchability, anatomy and toxicology and pharmacology, uh, biochemical, biochemical research, endocrinology and neurobiology. Chicken tissues like ileum brought from the slaughterhouse can reduce the animal sacrifices and they are used for bioassay studies for pharmacological research. The next is uh, pigeon that is uh, Columbia Livia. Pigeons are mainly preferred in screening anti-emetic activity, cardiovascular diseases such as spontaneous arteriosclerosis in pigeons and standardization of cardiac glycosides. It is used for bioassay of prolactin through pigeon crop method. That is one of the important methods in prolactin assessment. So it's a very short information of all the laboratory animals which is used for pharmacological uh, research and toxicological research. So this playlist is related to pharmacological and toxicological screening methods. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Go through all the series which will be posted in the forthcoming days and useful for your examination point of view. Thank you for listening. Thank you.